You guys remember the story in Acts 19 when there was a riot in Ephesus? Well, I want to focus on Acts 19.36. Acts 19.36 is the verse which talks about the town clerk of Ephesus. He says that the undeniable facts of the mystery religions should keep the people calm down. And isn't this what the PSYOP is today? They want to keep you in mind control. They want to keep you calm down in this Masonic, lukewarm middle ground that we've often talked about, where you're neither upset about the left or upset about the right and really just seeing these frauds for what they really are. And here you have another instant. Here you have another instant. The Bible is refuting these Gnostics. The town clerk said, Men of Ephesus, what man is there, after all who does not know that the city of Ephesus is guardian of the temple of the great Artemis, and of the image which fell down from heaven? Now you know this is the same mythology that the mystery religions employ in our day. And they want everyone mind-controlled and deceived into the revival of the ancient mystery religions, right? We've talked about that. We refuted the ways, means, and methods of the mystery religions. And his next statement is, So since these are undeniable facts, this mind control slave in Ephesus, this Masonic slave, you could say, of that day, you ought to keep calm and do nothing rash. You know, they want to control people, right? This is what the name of the game has been with the mystery religions for so long. And the Bible over and over exposes it, their Gnostic ways. And it confutes it by confuting their irrational premise that there are many gods in polytheism, which is what the revival of the ancient mystery religions is saying today. That there are many gods, but we know there's only one true living triune God. Man is not God. Man is not angelic. You know this false teacher, this heretic that's on YouTube? He recently put out a video saying, you are angelic. And all the mind control of this where they think that Jesus is Michael the Archangel. The undeniable facts that these Gnostics promote, right? They are called undeniable facts by the myth makers of the mystery religions. But there's no facts behind these. Because all these so-called facts have been refuted by the earliest Christian writings and the New Testament itself, which is the refutation of all these heresies. And so the Bible has said, If any man come to you, bringing to you a different gospel other than the one you have received, a gospel that says Jesus Christ is an angel, a gospel that says that you can be a Savior just like them, in their loss, quote, undeniable facts, Delusions, let him be a curse, Paul says. Let them be accursed. Because many of these people will not repent, you see. They will not get out of the mind control. They will prefer to stay in the mind control because they are slaves, having sworn death oaths, just like this town clerk at Ephesus, proclaiming to the town the undeniable facts of the lost ways of the mystery religions. So you see, the Bible refutes this undeniable fact. The undeniable fact of our day is this myth of the mystery religions coming out of the Darwin clan that we are evolving, right? We are evolving, they say. Evolving out of the primordial soup because of the redshift mind control that has been debunked by men like Alton Harp. And the mind control of all the fabling in the Masonic paradigm of controlled opposition nations that we see them fronting on the news. You see it on the news. Example today. What do you see on the news today? Nothing but more fables. Fables about Obama being back. Fables about new Masonic rulers. You have Rand Paul over here. He's touching his chin in this particular photo. The fabling of the mind control, you see, of these agents. If they're not Jesuit agents, as you see Pat... Buchanan there, you have Masonic agents left and right. 
fabling their Masonic paradigm world they want you to abide in, that they call undeniable facts, you see, undeniable facts. But they're not. They are nothing but lies. They are men filled with lies. And so there is no life with liars. There is no life in the lies of liars. And they're always trying, as the following verse says, for you have brought these men here who are neither robbers of temples nor blasphemers of our goddess. So then, if Demetrius and the craftsmen, the Masonic craftsmen, who are with him have a complaint against any man, the courts are in session and pro councils are available. Oh, bring them to the courts is what they want you to be in. That's what the United Nations is all about. They want to bring you to the courts. They want you to stand before their Gnostic myth-making, their, quote, undeniable facts. The courts are available, and let them bring charges against one another. They want to wrap you up. They want to unravel you in the web of deceit, the entangling of their mind control. Because the liars of the mystery religions promote, quote, undeniable facts that are nothing but lies. Having inverted the truth into a lie, they don't know the truth. They can never know the truth because their minds are darkened in the unescapable sin of swearing death oaths in secret societies. Until next time, this has been Edifying Others here, giving you a little insight. Again, that the Bible confutes the so-called undeniable facts. By showing you that the mystery religions and their polytheistic endless genealogies ways, they promote as the undeniable facts that you should be following after. But we must remember that if we speak against them, they're going to try to bring us into their web of deceit. But it'll never work. It never works for those who are called by the Lord Jesus Christ. Because our souls are too precious in believing the truth and the veracity of of the historic Christian faith and not the mind control of the Templars and Jack de Molay or whoever they might be. Until next time, this has been Edifying Others. Again, we hope you've enjoyed this study. We hope this has been insightful for you to remind you and to renew your mind to the fact that there's only one undeniable fact, and that is the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and the fact that the Lord has given us the Holy Spirit to bear witness of his word. That is the undeniable fact. Until next time, may the blood of Jesus Christ be upon you, and may he give you the strong witness of the Holy Spirit to obey his word. In Jesus' name.